Hey guys, Nathan here from The Bible Animated, and just finished creating, and you're watching right now in the background, our Bible text overlay, and we're going to be using this very much in the video. Every time when narrator number two is reading a text from the Bible, we're going to have the, the Bible text showing in the background. Now, one thing that will be a little different than what you're seeing in the video right now is the background is actually going to be animated. And then for sections where it's a long piece of text, it'll scroll through. Here we have the shorter piece scrolling. Our shorter texts are just going to be static in the middle of the screen. But I thought we'd throw together a little tutorial showing you guys how to create this effect using, of course, all free open source tools. Um, we're going to be using GIMP and Kden Live, both of which you can get on Linux. But without further ado, let's jump right to the tutorial. Step number one to creating the effect you just saw is creating a new document. Um, in GIMP here, just create a document 1280 by 720. Okay, we're actually going to delete the background as we don't need the background. And then we are going to throw in two guides real... Okay, maybe they won't let me throw in a guide without a layer. It's a little odd. Vertical at 10%. And we'll throw in another guide at 90%. And this is just going to help with the text. Assuming you're doing multiple versions of this, you might want to make sure that your text borders stay the same. So 10% margin on the sides is pretty good. Um, then we're just going to type something in. So Okay, we have our text there. I'm going to center it. Uh, of course, you don't have to, and make it a much larger font. Um, come on here. We use Pyrus, of course. Again, you can use any font you want. Uh, GIMP does sometimes do the font type stuff a little funny when you put new lines in and whatnot. So just something to note, which is why it didn't go down in full space and went to size 18. Okay. We can now delete this layer which I had to create in order to create the grid, or the guides, rather. We're going to duplicate the layer of text, select the new layer, select the text tool again, highlight the text, change it to white. Now, if the white text does go on top, just drag it underneath, and duplicate the now white text. We run over to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. We're going to blur one of our white texts with a radius of 5, and then go to the other, change that to 30, and blur it. Now we have the slight whitish halo around the black text with an alpha background. So we can just export this as a PNG. Um, if you don't save it as a PNG, you're not going to get the transparency, and you're going to need that for the next step. So just export. Defaults are probably okay. Change the compression level if you want. Probably not going to matter. Export. And then we are finished in GIMP. And next step is to bring this into KDN Live and overlay it on our background. So I'll be right back to do that. All right, so here we are in KDN Live. Um, you can get the same effect with really any decent video editor. Um, all you have to oops, went to the wrong place. All you have to be able to do is. Um, it's asking me about profile because my default is set to full HD and I'm doing a 720 HD here. Looks pretty awful. Don't worry, it's not going to look like that once we're finished. So import the the title and then our background picture, which, as I was saying, was a video. I actually don't have a video created yet for what I'm doing, so I'm just going to use a picture. A still picture. It's all right. And then we will also have some text. Um... Or not, well, I mean, it is text, but we're going to have some audio. So I'm just going to grab some random audio here. Just so we see how that works. Okay, I grabbed the wrong thing. Drop the audio into the audio track. The, the background image goes on the lower track. And then the top text goes up on top. Now, again, looking at this, I'm like, ew, that looks really awful. And yes, it does. It's because we have to do some effects. First, we're going to do a... Um, just clicking the lower right corner puts in a transition. Usually, we would use that to 
fade from one frame to another. Not what we're doing here. Um, we're actually going to use it as an effect overlay for the entire track. So change that from a dissolve to a composite. Um, no, I actually shouldn't have used the background image I did. Let me delete that clip and throw in a different, whoops, a different clip. That one had a transparent background, which is why you noticed, like, the white sky behind it, which it shouldn't really have had. There we go. Um, so we have the text overlaid on the background. Um, you, it would work the exact same with a video. You would just toss your video in there. Now, of course, in ours, we have the text move. In this one, with such a short piece of text, you'd be fine just letting it sit there. But if you do want to know how to make a move, we go into the effects, and not motion, which you would think it's under. It's actually under crop and transform, and we went to crop scale position. Just double click that. Wait. That's not the right one. Pan and zoom. There we go. Um, you want one that's keyframable, if you're having the text move, of course. So go to first frame. Generally, there's already a keyframe there. Um, we have your X and Y position, and then the width and the height for scale, or zoom, as they're calling it. We want to change, not the X, do not change the X, we want to change the Y. If you click on the Y and drag, it'll move, otherwise you can hit where the numbers are, and just type in there. So we're going to start it at negative 293, and then we just drag the cursor to the end, click the plus to add another keyframe. And then we'll drag this up to about there. Keyframes are automatically added. This little red line lets us know the animation we have. So then we can put the the cursor here back to anywhere in the timeline. Just hit play. It came to pass in those days that there went out a it's actually running pretty smooth. That all the world should be um, and then we can just render that out. So, goofy errors there. Um, you're definitely going to want to mess around with your video bit rates, audio, all that kind of stuff. I mean, depending on the resolution you're running this at, what the intended output is for, um, but that's a little beyond the scope of this tutorial, as I was just showing how to create that effect. Again, I'm just going to save this to desktop, and we're just going to call this, I don't know why I put an E there. Okay, render to file, and then it'll render away. So there you have it, how to create the scrolling text with the halo effect. Thanks for watching, and we'll probably have another tutorial up in a week or so. So, until then, God bless.